It is the first technology of its kind in the world, and it is being developed right here in Vancouver Island. The Wind Sentinel is a tool for production of renewable alternative energy, clean and safe power. And the world is taking notice. Louise Hartland has the story. It looks similar to a lifeboat. This is a buoy that will be placed in the middle of the ocean to measure winds. The wind sentinel will record and track measurements up to 300 meters above the surface using laser technology. And the purpose of it is to measure winds for the assessment of offshore wind power for offshore wind farms. After years of testing and prototypes, this buoy is being shipped to a company in New Jersey next week. It is a technology the world is watching. It's the most easily accessible renewable energy source. People are looking at waves, they're looking at tidal, they're looking at solar. But wind power has the most work done on it, is the most reliable source, and is already providing a lot of energy around the world. Many energy companies are looking for ways to build offshore farms, but struggle with the technology. The president of Energy Alternatives says he will be watching the results from the Wind Sentinel's first project. With a local company like Axis coming in with a turnkey solution for those people, it's a great technology that comes right out of Vancouver Island here, exportable around the world, and it's going to help uh, the wind farms uh, go ahead in the right sites with the best wind resource. The Axis advantage? Portability. This boy can move virtually anywhere on the water to test wind speed. Traditional meteorological masts used for testing need to be fixed to the ocean floor. Masts come with a big price tag and can be invasive to the environment. To build a meteorological mast in about 30 meters of water will cost about $5 million uh, minimum. Or in comparison, what we're looking at here is a $1.5 million deployment. Axis says companies in Europe and the United States are showing a lot of interest in the Wind Sentinel. It's a technology that could also work here in Canada. Uh, it's been uh, said uh, many times that uh, British Columbia has one of the best wind resources in the world. Uh, we're a little bit late in the game. We're, we're getting going. We've got a couple wind farms going here. Uh, the potential for offshore wind is absolutely huge. And while this yellow piece of engineering magic won't be rescuing anyone, developers hope it will change lives. In Sydney, Louise Hartland, A News.